everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I match my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Do I look fine? I'ma do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I match my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke. Are you ready to be entertained? So let's get into another reaction of True Blood, season two, episode six, y'all. Let's jump right into it. You want to see the sinful reaction? The links are down below. So please click the link as well as like, share, and comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump into True Blood and find out exactly what this show has got to give. True blood. That's it, baby. Yeah. Uh, baby. Then should I try pretending not to want it? Uh, Unless you're very good at it. You sick, blood-sucking bastard. What? Tell your manager you were magnificent. I'll back up your story if he calls. Hey, what? I was beginning to think you weren't going to accept my invitation, Lorena. You're a terrible liar. These two again! Don't go away. And who is this? His name is Hugo. He is mine. I could see how worried you were about Suki infiltrating the Fellowship, and I thought Hugo could help. It would be criminal of me to let you take such a risk without my at least offering. Or do anything for Isabel. You're forever, and not just my forever, your forever. He loves her. You, he loves you very much. People of the church, they have a way of not trusting a woman when she's absent a man. Why am I here, Mr. Northman? We want the same thing, you and I. He's human. No, she's something more than human. But whatever she is, he loves her. I haven't seen Bill Compton in over 70 years. Surely you can't think I have any pull over him? I've seen my maker for much longer than that. And yet I am still loyal to him. Shame I didn't turn you. You're not really my type. I said one. Okay. She comes out of the And joins the entertainment of your necklace. It's extraordinary. Oh, thank you. Hey, uh, where'd you say you two were all from again? What is it? Miss Vienna Olivier. And we are from Europe. France. I always wanted to see Europe. You would like it. So crass. But he's right. Fuck Polly Bichon. <laughs> <laughs> Yom and I could stay and we could all fuck oh. Polly Bichon. Absolutely. Okay. So she's the lady that made him, I believe? I am Guillaume. Enchanté. What happened here? Oh, if you don't want to tell me. I'll tell you. Never got a look at who or what it was that jumped me. It slashed me. And then I was sick, real sick, for weeks. They told me I was lucky to be alive. And I should count my blessings. The most amazing person I've ever yeah. met. Have you told anybody else what you are? Friend Suki. She knows. If somebody's behind that window right there, they'd be like, Seriously, though, Sam, you shouldn't be ashamed of what you are. Ashamed? People that I know, people that I love, I don't keep a secret from them. Because not taking risk is riskier. If you're going to take the danger out of getting to know someone, might as well not bother with them at all. People, they need to know you. <sighs> Shit. Want me to take a look and you can hold the line? Ugh, colder than that ridiculous excuse for a shower. I wish I had a fancier crib for you to squat in, but I don't. Ah. But without a hot shower in the morning, I have no tolerance for sarcasm. Oh, we're shopping Faraday's, got the part we need. Faraday is over two hours away. So do you want somebody to go get it or not? Ugh. Maybe eggs ought to come with No, I want him here working on the water heater. If I have to drive a car and look at a map at the same time, I'll crash a jack. I know I will. You can go, 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 go. Cool. Where you been, Stack? You're uh, ten minutes late. Well, didn't they say what they wanted to see us for? Good morning. The rest of the group, they're back at camp training, right? Shouldn't we be with them? What would we be punishing you for? Um, 
<laughs> well then, how about you stop sulking and try to be a little thankful for the job you've been given? Should we tell them? Oh, come on, let's tell them. I don't think that's such a honey, good idea. Honey, they're the yeah. best of the best. They deserve to know. Have either of you ever heard the expression, meet the sun? Steve. Sarah, I'm talking. The sun's gonna take a vampire and chain him to the cross just before dawn. The congregation gets to watch the bleachers and a vampire ignites. Sit to his fiery grave. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Well, yes, him, but the sun too. <laughs> so that they believe that we're a couple about to get married. It'd probably be best if you let me do most of the talking, yeah? It's okay. It'll be easier for me to listen in on others if I don't have to worry about carrying on a conversation. You're the things that are so hateful that hateful people don't even want to say them out loud. You're the only other person I've ever met who's dated a vampire. What do you want to know? Do you and Isabel ever fight? Oh, we fight like crazy. <laughs> the only reason that we never fought was because I didn't care enough to bother. Whenever Bill and me fight, even as I'm screaming, somehow in the middle of all that, I know we're both fighting for our relationship. Whenever I bring up the subject of her turning me, she just shuts down. She won't even discuss it. 50 years when they're still what they are, but we're in our 70s and 80s. How could they still love us? Huh. We, sh we should go. <laughs> Saturday? Who cares? I'll never have to feel old and unloved. Cold water do not mix. <laughs> around the band. You been here before? No, never. Turn, turn right here. Ed, tell me what's going on. I don't care. I don't know. Eggs? Eggs? What's the name? You still up for doing something after work tonight? Yeah. I've got a surprise lined up for you. I just happen to be an extremely mysterious woman. Can I get y'all anything else? How about that iced tea I ordered over five minutes ago? Oh my god. Too good a waitress around here. Someone's gonna come along and kill you. Hey there, Sam. Lafayette here. Stay in the kitchen. I've been noticing some strange things about you lately. Now that you are back, you seem to have lost some of your pizzazz. <laughs> I was on a cruise. A cruise, huh? What kind of cruise? A gay one. You and I go down to the station, I lock you up. Because I already know what you were doing. You're hiding out. Now tell me I'm not right. Leave him alone, cuz. Terry, you need to shut up. The kind of cop you set out to be. And by the way, everybody knows that you ain't even a cop anymore. But he's a suspect. No, he ain't. Does he look like he's about to run to you? Buddy. <laughs> Close him. Close him. To imagine. A golden glowing ball. Yeah, boy, baby daddy. I paid that bill last week. I want to know why my phone is telling me activation required. Girls who call boys at all hours of the night like that are only looking for one thing, money. I would let you date a girl like that over my dead body, and I meant it. And one last thing about my girlfriend is that she's a vampire. Every time I look at that pool table, I keep seeing you on it, and then I can't think about anything else. Sneak out the back and shift and run and play. If I work right now, my balls would kill me. I'll go out back right now. I'll take off all your clothes. I will fire you. I'll meet you out back in two. Make it one. Help me out, Stackhouse. We should go there. Let's oh! so come on now, out with it. And I hope I don't have to remind you you're wearing your ring of honesty. I've only been sent up on when I count Sarah wanting my. Peanut. My Johnson. Sarah, have everything coming your way, but Sarah? She ain't the holiest person I know, and I don't know who is. The day that we met, you'd said, you said that you'd been abstinent for the last three years. Because sex outside of marriage is a sin. Now, you really believe that? I say you're gonna do it out of wedlock. Gotta make sure the girl you do it to ain't married either. But all of them put together ain't half as bad as if you do it to a vampire. Or to a dude. Hey! Straight to hell, baby. But everything else you can repent for. Jason Stackhouse. Abstinent. Sounds good, don't it? No. Not really. <laughs> the big old scary vampire went to the sun and fry. Be here all day. <laughs> Why do I recognize her? Because she's on TV all the time. That's Sarah Newland. You know, in person, she looks like vanilla pudding. I just happened to be looking out the window as you all were driving up, and I thought I'd come on out and greet you myself. I cannot believe I'm actually meeting you in person. You are cute as a button. <laughs> Rufus Dobson, my fiance. 
I love saying that word. That's why we're looking for a church. Well, excellent. Okay. And I'm, how about you all follow me in and we'll see if Steve is available. I'm sure he'd just love to meet you both. I thought you were gonna let me do the talking. When I get nervous, sometimes I talk too much. We both left like a month later when we realized that our pastor was a little iffy. He was a homosexual. He was a sympathizer. That's why my fiance and I are here. We want to make this our new home. And power up from the basement and watch the sun do him for just as 2,000 years of living. I don't care what anyone says about vampires being able to control themselves. I know that every single one of them is a vicious, bloodthirsty killer. You're welcome. We'll enjoy living in it. Put him in the armchair. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Well, because we can. <laughs> I want you to have this. Still haven't told me where we're going. Yeah, I did. I said I don't know. <laughs> I don't like being in. What? I've been here before. Oh, what? Tara. Now something happened here. Something, something horrible happened. Maybe it's from when you were a little kid. Maybe somebody brought you here. Now I know one thing. I've been here before. I just don't even. walk a mile and a half maybe two miles and I, I had no idea where we were going Tara this ain't no fucking coincidence let's get you home take a slow but why are you crying see you soon when we open these doors so much love comes flowing out that it'll knock you down oh my gosh I know I just love it in here. This is where we're getting married. I can't wait to see you walk down this aisle. Either of you ever been to a lock-in? A lock-in? Of course she hasn't. She's no Christian. Wait, the girl into this? She's probably so scared she doesn't want to be doing this. Those vampires made her do it. You do. sure don't look normal. That lock-in does sound like fun. I gotta go so we can come back for the lockdown. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get ready. The lock-in. I'd like you to meet an aide of mine. Nice, very nice. She's got just the perfect amount of titty show. Gabe here's gonna be joining us. The wrong person to do this. Go ahead. I know that pig! Is that? What's up, man? That pig! Wait up, pig! She's How the pig! How amazingly exhilarating was that? Why'd you become a pig? Pig is my go-to shit. <laughs> It almost seemed like Andy recognized you. Isn't pig exactly what you would call a pig that you didn't know? Still, it's, it's weird. Remember me? How's life? <laughs> Not so good. You could sleep here in a pinch. <laughs> what are you doing here? I ain't said nothing to nobody. Eric sent me with a request. You're back in business. Torture me for damn near three motherfucking weeks because you caught me selling V. Fuck is vampires doing selling V anyway? We're not. You are. Oh. There's more? Yes, my father's tomb. It's on the lower level. Uh, Honey, are you sure? Absolutely, darling. Literally feel the presence of his spirit. It's okay, we don't need to see it. Oh, but I insist. Uh -huh. Did you know that there was actually a vampire pope back in the Middle Ages? What's the matter? It's no big deal. She just has a tiny little case of claustrophobia. Quick little look-see, and that way you can say you saw the whole church and you'll be making an informed decision. So we've already decided that we're getting married here, so how about go back to our apartment? <laughs> Is something happening to your human? Marina! I'm pretty sure the beggar's on feet, I'm fucking cut! Steve! <laughs> Blood knows mine. You will never physically overpower me. No! Fight me, People are pigs. You got that right. Oh, what's wrong, you girl? Here, take this joint. I feel like that kid needs tea. Except we're still following Reese's Pieces, we following clothes.
Who is it? It's, uh, it's, it's Hoyt. I cancel my cell service, man. No way to get in touch. Oh, sorry, Jessica. I can't believe it. You came all this way. I'm happy I could cry, but I don't want it because it's really gross when I do. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> oh. Steve? Sarah? Tell you that uh, Luke and me, we're done with the, the platform. Are, are you crying? No. I'm sorry. You're not supposed to see me like this. Uh, it's okay. Uh, what, what's the matter? It's Steve. Your husband is a great man. But we can't try to make it easier on ourselves by, by blaming the victim. You're not being trained to defend us. It's to use you to start a war. Does that sound like a great man to you? Lately, I've been seeing the side of him I never did before. Our marriage has always been a partnership, but now he's shutting me out. Cry. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I was put here on this earth to be that great woman behind her great man. I'm supposed to be with you. You're married. Not in my heart. It's what right. God's commanding me to do. Oh. Really wants it? <laughs> you talk to him? Every single day of my life. Jason is so funny. <laughs> Such a nervous Nelly. It's a surprise. She's working with that lady. You don't like drums? Oh, follow it and all it ever leads you to is hippies and cults. Not this time. Sorry, Sam. What the fuck is this? It's the end of the road. Blood up it on us. Well, well. So, I have to say, I was kind of irritated in this episode a little bit by certain characters. Not the episode itself, but the characters and the decision making. But I have to understand that you know, I take myself, now that I've stopped it, I take myself out and I'm like, okay, they're building the storyline. This is what it's actually possibly supposed to be doing to the viewer. So, Suki, I was like, who in the motherfucking world thought Suki was the, I know she's like the only one because she can read minds, but I think I would rather somebody who didn't read minds, who was a better actor or actress, to go in there and get in, get, Whatever information I needed, I would not look to Suki. Suki is literally the worst. Um, and I know there are Suki lovers out there, and you're probably saying, you know, she's she's from a small town. Um, she's doing her best. She's trying to help out. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. All the reasons why she shouldn't do it. Um, we need somebody from a big town that would, would be able to handle themselves. Actually, at this point. They barely, that guy and that other big ass guy, barely did anything to the two of them to knock them the holy hell out and bring them down. I mean, they didn't even knock them out. Just dragged them down the stairs to the point where I think that we should have looked for a boxer. A kickboxer, anything that has an ongzer. <laughs> Somebody's like, a what? An ongzer? I don't know, I don't know. A boxer, okay, there we go. Um, just somebody that be able to defend themselves and Suki is not the one and clearly neither is that guy. Um, or at least if you're going to put Suki in there, have somebody somewhere that would be able to get there like this. Because Suki is clearly just not, she's not, she can. So regardless, then we have Jason Stackhouse. He didn't annoy me at all. He is his character. He, they, this show definitely makes this character kind of like a main story and then they kind of get him there right and then they kind of take him out and put him back into sex like he's just like a sex character he just sex it's jason so you love him you hate him i think the lafayette storyline is extremely interesting we saw it was her name kim um or pam sorry <laughs> somebody is typing virtually down below who the fuck is kim Pam. So I love Pam. I love Lafayette. Their storyline intrigues me. I want more of that. I could stay there with that like all day long. Tara, for the first time, or maybe the second time, slowly like got into my skin a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, 
She's like, is that blood? Girl, did you not see the, the shirt that he picked up that was blood? Like, you don't think this whole situation is weird? And then we walked all the way into the woods for 45 minutes. We saw a bloody rock. We don't call the cops. We don't do nothing. Um, and then we go back to the house and the same bunch of clothes that you see scattered throughout this random place that you walked 45 minutes in the woods for, you then get back to your house and you see random shit all over Suki's house not your house, Sissy Pop. And then you go into the woods, you guys continue, and she's it just suck. And Tara's, Tara was very close and similar to Sookie. And then we're going to have the people down below, which I feel, I, I understand, guys. I understand, I'm just being nitpicky. I haven't eaten, I'm a little aggressive. So somebody down below is going to say, you know, they're both from a small town, Andres. So I tried to keep that in the factor. I'm doing it right now. I love Tara, just remember that, Andres. Next thing you know, Tara's getting doggy styled. Everybody has black eyes. I had a feeling that that lady was with him with her, the Daphne, was definitely with the witch, definitely by the, somewhere probably the middle of the story of this episode. I was like, yeah, she's definitely evil. So she's doing the bidding for that witch lady or whatever she is, the shaker of all shakes. If that lady was gonna do a Harlem Shake, guys, Google it if you don't know what that is, she probably would be the best Harlem Shaker ever in this whole entire world. Um, so now it looks like they wanna like possibly kill Sam or somehow get his blood. Like, I don't know what they want with Sam, but I'm really interested. And this show does have a really good tendency to give you really good cliffhangers. So it definitely pulls the audience back in, gives you this big ball of confusion or big ball of like uh, um, leftover storylines, just like uh, Miranda, what's that lady's name? The lady, the maker of Bill, who I figured out. Um, you have all, just all the storylines. You, you wanna know what's going on with her and him. Like, then I finally realized, it took me a minute, I said it three, four, five thousand times. I'm like, oh, that's the lady that we first met in whatever, was it the first season or earlier this season that we saw Bill's backstory and that actually made him and then they walked away from his family into like that graveyard, whatever. Um, and Bill, seeing Bill being more evil, vampire-ish, was amazing, I loved it. Give us more of that, Bill. Um, I know it's not gonna happen, but still, or give me more vampires like that. Um, but regardless, like there's just a lot of, the, every single character left off with a storyline, a cliffhanger, minus Jason Stackhouse. I mean, I mean, I guess it's a, that's like the least interesting cliffhanger ever. Um, but he's very close to his sister, so there's that. Um, but it's very, very interesting. So how close are we? We still got, oh, we have six more episodes to go till we wrap this up. And it feels like we, I only have like a few more episodes left of this season, but we do not. We have, we have a few more, that's crazy. It's definitely reached a peak. How much higher are we gonna get to the peak of this season where we're gonna get to the finale? Child. Anyways, this is a very, very good episode. Loved it all the way down. Guys, please check out all my other reactions while you are here. And until next time, I'm off this.